Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna share a very personal, very intimate take with you. Okay, it's my it's just my personal thoughts and feelings. You know, it's very very close to my heart. Believe it or not, I know this never come up before. I actually have autism. Okay, I am. It's true. You know, I don't talk about it that much. And there's two reasons for. I can't tell if this if the beginning of this segment is serious or not. I have mentioned it plenty of times, but in all seriousness, I don't think it's a big deal, and I don't really care. Um, however. There's a pretty big stigma around autism, like generally speaking, uh, you know, in the uh, in the online space, especially. Sometimes people will make fun of me or they'll say, like, I'm faking being autistic because I don't act autistic, which <laughs> if you if you live with me, buddy, whew, if only you live with me. Glad you don't. Um, you judgmental fucks. It's 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 a whole thing. But honestly, it just doesn't affect me that much. I don't really care. It affects other people more. And that's fine. Um, and there's a lot of ne negative stigma around autism and people, it's less so these days, but I think like five years ago, autistic was like the go-to insult for other people. You know what I mean? It basically meant the same thing as like the R slur. It's just like a big blended together miasma of general antagonism. I guess in some communities it still is. I see less of it, but hey, I'm with, I, I my communities are a bunch of cringe lgbtqia woke scold lefties so obviously you know maybe a little bit less of that there uh y'all gay basically so you know who else is gay a person called sia i don't actually know if that's true or not i know that they're wearing this really really big bow on top of their head and that's probably gay i don't actually know if they're gay and honestly it does not matter even slightly with regards to the what we're about to talk about. So I don't really talk about autism issues that much because I feel like I'm not the person to talk about it because I feel like other people have more significant life experiences with autism and maybe, maybe they're like, that's the voice that should be reserved for this stuff. But I saw some drama around this movie, okay? It's a movie called Music. I know, very confusing. So Sia is a musician and uh, apparently a little bit of an amateur director. And for a while now, I mean years now, there have been grumblings about the release of a movie, a musical movie called Music. It's a movie, a musical movie, a movie that is a musical, titled Music. Got it? Got it. Um, there have been rumblings that this thing's gonna come out, and it finally came out recently. And people have been skeptical for a while because it seems like... It's gonna be, or it was, a little bit schmidgen, possibly ableist. So take a look at this, huh? Have you seen this photo circulating the internet by chance? Have you? Is that is that a thing that you've seen? Because I've seen it around, just in the in the general discourse, you know. Um, so the woman that we're looking at right now, her name is Maddie, and she's a young dancer, and she seems incredibly talented. Um, and she's the lead in this movie. Uh, and this movie, which is called Music, is a musical about an adopted autistic sister. Do I have that correct? An adopted autistic sister. So it's like a musical story about the adoption of an autistic sister. And um, initially, that role was going to be played by an autistic uh, woman. And that autistic woman um, left because um, <laughs> uh, she found the production process unpleasant and stressful which may have been a little bit telling. Uh, so Sia got and got a hold of Maddie, who is, again, a wonderfully talented dancer and also uh, not autistic. Apparently the autistic girl is also supposed to be biracial, but instead of like hiring a biracial person, they just put her in like tan, see? They just like tanned her and gave her like hair buns, which I guess is kind of like making a person biracial, you know, kind of, you're hitting all the stops there. So, but I, we're about to get into the actual meat of this, okay? But re reserve your criticisms. Hold on. So we have this musical movie. Maddie is the lead star, and she is playing an autistic girl. Okay, fantastic, phenomenal, wonderful. And this 
uh, and a biracial autistic girl. And already there are some troubling sort of behind the scenes production issues. Uh, for example, Sia, here's her being interviewed. Here we go. Um, an interviewer said that nonverbal autistic people may as well be inanimate objects like a wig. You can see Sia's reaction to that comment. Which is, here's this person who can't speak. You know, she might as well be like an inanimate object like a wig, except there's so much going on in there. Yeah. So sorry if I'm reading a little too much. Now, to be fair, she does say, except there's so much going on in there. But the way that's said really kind of implies that yeah, 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 there's some issues with that, maybe. And remember how the original dancer, the autistic woman, left because she was uncomfortable? Well, Maddie, the non-autistic woman who's actually playing this character, well... She arrived and she was living across the road. This is Sia, by the way, with the hat. ...from me at the time. And I could see something was wrong with her. She was pale and she was just unlike herself. And I'd known her since she was 11 and she was 14 now. And I was like, honey, what's wrong? Is there something wrong? And she just burst into tears and she just said, I don't want anyone to think that I'm making fun of them. And I was like, oh, honey, like, I won't let that happen. I was like, I promise I won't let that happen. And your character is based on a real person that I know. He arrived and she was living across the road from me at the time. So Maddie, the, the dancer, the biracial autistic dancer, said um, that crying that she doesn't want people to think that she's making fun of autistic people. So that's interesting. Um, a little bit. Just a smidgen right there. Hold on. Bosh, the context, she's saying that's what a lot of people think it is. The first one is clipped. Oh, hold on. I missed that chat. The first one is clipped out of context explaining that uh, is how a lot of people think about nonverbal autistic people and how it's incorrect. That could absolutely be the case. Uh, it could be the case that that segment right there is clipped out of context. So I want you guys to put a pin in that, that bit right there where she said nonverbal autistic people are like wigs or whatever. We'll get to the, uh, the punchline uh, now, actually. We'll get to it now. So why does Maddie feel as though she's mocking autistic people with the, uh, with the performance that she's trying to do? Well, here. I have to mute this, I'm afraid, because of copyright music, but... So these are the, these are the autism dance moves that, um... That we were, uh, 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 that she was sort of instructed on doing, that she was apparently uncomfortable with. So, uh, and then we have some, some strobing, yes. So, the whole movie is like this. Her... See, it's all to the beat of the music. You get it, that's how musicals work. The, the whole movie is like, uh, seems to be... Her... <laughs> her... <laughs> her dance basically seems to be a caricature of autistic people, you know? It basically, like... It, it uh, a par pardon the offense, it does kind of seem like Maddie the dancer was directed to, to do this, and her direction was like, I don't know, kind of move like a spaz, like, I don't know, like, I don't know, kind of like, move like, I don't know, like like an idiot or something, like, I don't know, like, watch a cartoon, just kind of like, yeah, like, kind of freak out a little bit, you know? Um, that's kind of the, yeah, it basically like spurg out. That's, I unironically feel like that's, because I feel like, and I said this the last time I talked about this, but in the dancing that she does, I don't see so much disabled or autistic person, but I do see what Donald Trump looked like when he was mocking that disabled reporter. Um, can we get that? Can we get that on screen? Here, this this is this is the Written kind by a of nice reporter. Now the poor guy, you got to see this guy. Oh, I don't know what I said. Ah, oh, I don't remember. He's going like I don't remember. I had the, oh, maybe that's what I said. This is 14 years ago. He still they didn't do a retraction. You know what I mean? You guys remember that 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 moment from from the from the campaign? That was good. Then he got elected president. You know. But do you understand what I'm saying when I say that? Um, that that type of performance seems like it uh feels kind of like what Trump was doing there. Literally a minstrel show, but for autistic people. Yeah, I don't want to play it up too hard, but that feels a little like we have direction being given by Sia, a non-autistic woman, to a non-autistic dancer, Maddie, who, by the way, I don't blame it all in any of this. It seems like she wasn't... It seems like she voiced concerns all throughout this process. Um to deliver a story about autistic people and she like has tan on her face to make her biracial. It's like, damn. Um, but anyway, so this on its own would just be like 
kind of awkward or like kind of a little bit controversial, but it gets more than that because the movie music, remember the musical movie entitled music, that movie also has a strobe light scenes, which can be bad for autistic people, which feels a little weird given the fact that it's about an autistic person, but it also has, apparently there's a scene in the movie, and you can go look this up if you want to, there's a scene in the movie where, or, or maybe even multiple scenes, where um, the autistic character is having like a freak out, and she's like pinned down to alleviate the freak out, or to like provide some sort of calm or, or, or restraint or whatever, which it's a meltdown, Vash, yeah, 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 I've seen, yeah, I'm trying to describe it tactfully, but Basically, like, there were, that scene's existence was known for a while, and there were people criticizing Sia, saying, hey, you shouldn't do that, like, ever. It's like, not, it's not good, it's bad, actually, you shouldn't do that. Talk to anyone, literally talk to anyone. And, um, and Sia said, okay, okay, I'll take it out. I'll take it out. But it didn't get taken out. It's still in there. It's, it still stayed in there. So, it's poor representation bordering on outright offensive, and that's being charitable on my end. And it depicts some pretty gnarly stuff. But the worst of it, didn't she say she just put a disclaimer? Did she even put that disclaimer? I think at a time she said she would take it out. Um, she, there were definitely people who felt betrayed by its inclusion. I'll certainly say that much. But anyway, um, so we have all of this, and we're bringing it together now, okay? We're, we're, we're putting the pieces together. So, Sia uh, made this movie a while ago, okay? Like, years ago. And it's been kind of in a production harm. Or not harm, sorry, hell. You know? And apparently, sometime after the shooting of this finished, she um, was contacted by the fine people over at Autism Speaks who were interested in getting involved in the process. Now, Autism Speaks, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Autism Advocacy Organization, phenomenal. This is like, uh, this is, it's, 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 we're doing charity, it's good, it's not good. Autism Speaks is kind of sort of a hate group. Um, I watched an advertisement of theirs on stream a little while ago. And I want to watch it again, and if, I'm going to be real with you guys, okay? If you're this autistic or whatever, and you have and you have a sensitive relationship with your internal thought process, I strongly encourage you to chill out with this video, okay? We'll see how much of this we can tolerate, okay? This is a commercial, I Am Autism, by Autism Speaks. Get ready, people. Okay? I want you to look for good representation here. Bring it in. Buckle up. I am autism. I'm visible in your children, but if I can help it, I am invisible to you until it's too late. I know where you live, and guess what? I live there too. I hover around all of you. I know no color barrier, no religion, no morality, no currency. I speak your language fluently. And with every voice I take away, I acquire yet another language. I work very quickly. I work faster than pediatric AIDS, cancer, and diabetes combined. And if you are happily married, I will make sure that your marriage fails. Your money will fall into my hands, and I will bankrupt you for my own self-gain. I don't sleep, so I make sure you don't either. I will make it virtually impossible for your family to easily attend a temple, a birthday party, a public park, without a struggle, without embarrassment, without pain. You have no cure for me. Your scientists don't have the resources, and I relish their desperation. Your neighbors are happier to pretend that I don't exist, of course, until it's their child. I am autism. I have no interest in right or wrong. I derive great pleasure out of your loneliness. I will fight to take away your hope. I will plot to rob you of your children and your dreams. I will make sure that every day you wake up, you will cry, wondering who will take care of my child after I die. And the truth is, I am still winning, and you are scared, and you should be. I am autism. All right, 
we'll let them dominate however much of this you want. You get the tone, don't you? Do we get the tone? It's a video on autism to the tone of like a, a, an anti-drug dealer commercial. Uh, autism Speaks is an organization that seeks to cure autism. It is an organization which um, regards autism as a disease or as a plague. And you'll notice how that advertisement that we just looked at didn't talk at all about helping the kids who have it or like addressing it or improving it or like ameliorating any negative conditions about it. It's about the parents. From Autism Speaks perspective, the real victim of autism are the parents who have to deal with it. And Autism Speaks as an org has been linked to from conservative political groups to you like virtually eugenicist perspectives on autistic people. And it's always this like suburban wine mom just can't deal with little Timmy anymore kind of vibe. You know what I mean? That's basically what we're going for here. Autism Speaks somehow raises tens of millions a year, but they have been condemned by virtually every single disability rights organization operating in this country, as far as I can tell. Yeah, they don't have any autistic people actually in their board of directors. No, they don't. It's it's one. It's essentially a hate group is what it is. It's a hate group for parents who have autistic kids and who can't deal with the stress and the struggle. And they, uh, they instead of dealing with that in a healthy way, they... Yeah. You get it, don't you? You get, you get the gist. Yeah. Um, and this organization approached Sia. That's interesting. Autism Speaks doesn't approach organizations for no reason. They approach Sia. And Sia accepted the association. Because apparently, Sia did not know about Autism Speaks reputation. Here, I'll find the quote right here. Sia also faced criticism for working with the controversial charity Autism Speaks, which some claim falsely compares autism to diseases and does not involve people with autism in its work. Begin quote. Autism Speaks came on board long after the film was finished. Four years, in fact. So, because remember I said that it had been sitting in production hell? Sia tweeted. I had no idea it was such a polarizing group. In one tweet, not replying to anyone, Sia wrote, open quotes, Grrr. Fuckity fuck. Why don't you watch my film before you judge it? Fury. End quote. So I want to be really, really clear about something, okay? I'm not in on the cancel culture vibe, really. If people fuck up and make mistakes, that's okay. But... If you are doing a movie about autism, and your level of ignorance on the subject is so overwhelming that you don't know what Autism Speaks is or why it's despised by autistic people, then you shouldn't have made the movie. Like, unironically, okay? This is like, yeah, this is like making a movie about slavery, and then after you've produced it, David Duke approaches you, and he's like, that's a good-ass movie. Can I, like... I don't know. Can I like rep it or something? And you're like, yeah, Mr. Duke, that's a great idea. And then afterwards, when the Twitter fallout happens, you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. I didn't know. That's base. That's basically like the first thing you learn about autism is that the people who have it play Minecraft. And the second thing you learn is that autism speaks is a fucking bad organization. That's that's one and two. Um, you know, anyway, yeah, I, again, I don't, I don't get up on the, on the, the cancel culture vibe that much. And uh, to be honest, I don't in, talk that much about the whole autism thing. Cause it's it very, varies person to person. It's very complicated, but this is a degree of misrepresentation severe enough that even I feel like proxy offended. You know what I mean? And this hurts discourse too, because now it's like, 
oh, uh, you know, whoever sees that, it's like, oh, what are autistic people like? Okay, well, we saw this tanned up uh, uh, non-autistic dancer, you know, doing a jig for however long the movie is. It, and, and, and okay, sponsored by Autism Speaks. Okay, wow, I guess autistic people are, are cringe. I don't know. Anyway, uh, if we go to, what is it, Rotten Tomatoes? People aren't super happy about it. It's actually rated lower than the Cats movie. That's what everyone's talking about. The audience score and the, uh, yeah, yeah. Yet it's been nominated for two Golden Globes. Well, that's probably just because of Sia's clout in the industry, not so much because of its, you know, value as a piece of art. Also, it's the Golden Globes. Who cares? I guess that means that Cats is actually, yeah, Cats is a pro-autism uh, story. Bosch, do you think only autistic actors should play autistic characters, or that oversight by autists within the script and direction suffices? I'd love to know your thoughts. I'll end on this, okay? I don't... I don't... So, I have two minds on this. It is nice when you give representation to people who don't normally get acting roles. That is normally nice. That's a nice thing, you know? Uh, and apparently that's what Sia initially tried to do, because the autistic girl left, because she was uncomfortable with the production, so... Wait, Autism Speaks actually disavowed Sia's movie? Wait, no way. Wait, really? <laughs> Autism Speaks was not involved in the casting production of the film music. Representation matters. We believe autistic actors should always be given opportunities to play autistic characters. Wait, Autism Speaks doesn't have a single autistic person on its board. How could they say this? Okay, I don't even... Stop. This is a distraction. Stop. I don't even know. Don't... Don't be fooled by their woke tricks, okay? By their deceptive ploys. Stop. It's grifting. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. I think representation is good and it matters, but at the very least, this is the, this is the, the, the borderline requirement, okay? Yeah, we'll get to Mars in a second. This is the borderline requirement, okay? At the very least, even if you're not giving rep to roles that matter, you should at the very least be doing your fucking research, okay? If you're at a level of research where you're in accepting association with autism speaks and then getting trashed by them on Twitter, you're not in a position where you should be doing anything regarding autistic people, okay? Like, for fuck's sake. If you're producing media which is about marginalized struggle, which it, this kind of fundamentally is, research needs to be put into that. Absolutely. So you should have input from an autistic person or like expertise or something like that, you know. Um, ideally, multiple sources because this stuff can be very personal. But that's the goal.